What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now we've got a banger of a video talking XRP. There is so much coming down the line, particularly the new upgrade to the XRP L Ledger. What's going on with that as well as a bullish price prediction as always. Don't forget to smash the like button if you want to see more content like this and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency. With that being said, let's see what's going on. So just in the XRP Ledger launches its latest version. Now the XRP Ledger moves to version 1.12.0 and it comes with with loads of new features and loads of bug fixes, which is fantastic. Now, obviously, the XRP Ledger is a key fundamental part of what XRP is trying to build. In particular, when we talk about CBDCs, we know Tom Emner's come out today with his proposal to get rid of and stop any government-based CBDC coming out and owning this. And this is where the market is desperate for something like XRP. We see that automated market maker clawback function and the fixed reduced offers. So super interesting. The automated market maker underlying protocol using decentralized exchanges with an autonomous trading mechanism eliminates the need for centralized authorities like exchanges and other financial entities. Put simply, it allows two users to transact their assets without an intermediary. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great build out and well, well and truly received on that XRP legend. Now, it doesn't stop there because there is a ton more to this. So again, we see this upgrade to version 1.12.0 and that introduction of that AMM protocol ultimately then facilitates the trade of assets without a counterparty, without the need for an intermediary between two entities. When you start then talking about cross-border payments, financial institutions, it is fantastic news. And you see there, according to the blog post, Clawback adds a setting allowing Clawback, which lets a issuer recover or Clawback tokens that they previously issued. Issuers cannot enable this setting if they have issued tokens already. Remember, if we're talking about financial institutions, this is a key part. Think about your credit card. Think about your debit card where the banks can stop transactions going through. It's a massive step forward when we're talking about hacks. And we seem to see them all the time right now. XRP building out what it needs to do. And you see that XRP acknowledged as a huge game changer. They just become part of that Zao Ledger smart contract side change for that. And finally, HSBC, one of the largest banks, issued a report on distributed ledger technology in the capital markets. And while at the bank highlighted that XRPL is solving the challenges encountered in real time cross border settlements just think about that for a second hsbc coming out and supporting what xrp is doing and in particular what the xrp l offers now how do you support it with fact you use the network and i absolutely am believable and thinking that hsbc are going to be this big partner we already know they've kind of stepped into the world of decentralized finance web3 we know they're linked into xrp i think it's huge and i think not enough people are talking about it not enough people know about it so make sure you're sharing this video here is the xrp ledger the ledger of everything going on on xrp now there's been tons of discussion around whether it's quick enough it's tps is fast enough you can see there the ledger interval 3.8 seconds transaction seconds 15.9 so in the grand scheme of things right now it is exactly what we need when you talk cross-border payments huge financial movements of money it's exactly what the space requires now thinking of all of that that we just talked about there is an expectation on this price surge now we've talked about this and i'm not going to sit here and tell you we'll be at 500 tomorrow that's not the case however when we talk about a potential 10 dollars 12 dollars even just halfway there it all gets pretty exciting now we expect a move upwards iran crypto there said if you can't see the incredible potential of xrp in the chart below especially when breaking through myt L, then I'm afraid there's little more I can do to convince you. And I think that's the final point here. We're expecting a pretty big and sizable move. It says here, furthermore, if XRP price was to follow the forecast as was previously seen, $10 may only be the halfway point for the altcoin. ECRAG's chart shows the possibility of even doubling from this point, bringing the possible end point for the rally to $20. And that would be through a couple of key points there, about $1.20 you know, $1 as it moves on up to $10. And we've talked about this quite a number of times. I think it's fantastic news. And I, for one, truly think we're going to be there very, very soon. Now, taking a look at XRP, we came and tested this 4855 on an upward trend. This is great news for XRP. Lots of going in. Money flow starting to move back in. RSI trending back into the middle while the chart continues to move up 0.87 up on the day as long as we get this continuation in the market bitcoin holds strong i think xrp could see a break above 48.55 now the next real volume point is just under that 50 cent range 
so it could be a pretty short and sharp rise for xrp given the charting right now taking a look, quick look on here we see volume just down about 10 percent, but just at 913 million and then 25.7 billion is the market cap currently still and will be for a while the number five cryptocurrency out there right now that's going to do it for this video let me know what you think about it all in the description down below and again i'm very curious to know what do you think of this xrpl upgrade do you think xrp is going to change the face of finance in web3 i truly do i'm sure you do as well i'll see you in the next one Bye bye